India's streets are a celebration of flavors, presenting an array of food like chaat, dosa, and vada pav. We're exploring these culinary gems, showcasing the diversity from spicy northern snacks to savory southern delights. Let's experience the vibrant street food culture that epitomizes India's rich culinary heritage. Welcome to our channel, Savor the World, where every journey is a story. Glad you're tuning in, Savers! Today's episode dives into the vibrant world of Indian street food, a tapestry of taste shaped by diverse regions, religions, and seasons. This exploration is informed by thorough web searches and insights from news articles. Our aim? To savor and understand the rich variety of dishes that India offers, from street corners to bustling markets. We're set to experience iconic foods, each telling a unique story of tradition and flavor. Let's discover what makes Indian street food a global phenomenon and a reflection of its multifaceted culture. Are you ready to indulge in an unforgettable taste adventure? Let's begin! First, let's venture into North India. Here, the air buzzes with the aroma of spices and sizzling delicacies. Our first stop is Delhi, the heart of street food culture. Here, chaat rules supreme, a dish that's a symphony of textures and flavors. Originating from the Mughal era, chaat typically features crisp fried dough, tangy tamarind sauce, and a melange of spices. Each bite is a burst of sweet, sour, and spicy taste, mingled with a crunch of fresh vegetables. Next, we savor alu tiki in the bustling lanes of Lucknow. This popular snack, made of mashed potatoes and various spices, is shallow fried to golden perfection. The outer crust is deliciously crisp, giving way to a soft, spiced interior. It's often served with a size of chickpea curry, adding a creamy texture and rich flavor. Moving on to Amritsar, we're greeted with the robust flavors of chule bature. This dish is a testament to the Punjabi influence on the region's cuisine. Chole, a spicy chickpea curry, pairs impeccably with bature, a fluffy, deep-fried bread. The combination of spicy chole and soft yet crispy bature offers a satisfying contrast in textures. Kulcha, another gem from Amritsar, is a must-try. This leaven flat bread, stuffed with a mixture of potatoes or paneer, is a delightful treat. Cooked in a tandoor, it has a unique smoky flavor and a texture that's soft yet slightly crisp. The kulcha is often brushed with butter, adding a rich dimension to its taste. Lastly, the kebabs of North India are an absolute delight. These skewered wonders, influenced by Mughal culinary traditions, boast tender meat marinated in a blend of spices. The grilling process lends a smoky aroma that's hard to resist. The kebabs are succulent and flavorful, melting in the mouth with every bite. In North India, each dish is like a history lesson in a bite, mixing age-old traditions with amazing flavors. It's a real celebration of the region's rich past and culinary skills. Continuing our culinary journey, we head to the bustling streets of West India, a region celebrated for its distinctive flavors and textures. Mumbai, our first stop introduces us to the iconic vada pav. This humble yet delicious snack consists of a deep-fried potato dumpling nestled in a bread bun, accompanied by spicy garlic chutney. The vada pav is not just a snack, it's a staple for Mumbai cars, offering a fulfilling and flavorful bite that represents the city's dynamic spirit. In Ahmedabad, we encounter the delightful pav bhaji, this dish is a medley of mashed vegetables cooked in a tomato-based gravy, served with buttered and toasted pav or bread. Pav bhaji is a harmonious blend of spicy, tangy, and buttery flavors. Its rich texture and vibrant color inviting you to take bite after bite. Originating as a quick lunch option for textile mill workers, it has now become a favorite across the country. Next up, we taste the belly in the narrow alleys of Gujarat. This snack features a potato mixture with a special dibeli masala. Sandwiched in a bun and garnished with pomegranate, sev or crunchy noodles, and coriander. Dibeli beautifully showcases the Gujarati palate, balancing sweet, spicy, and tangy flavors in one compact package. Goa greets us with its unique offering, dakla. This steamed fermented rice and chickpea flour cake is light yet satisfying. 
The soft, spongy texture of dokla combined with the tangy and sweet flavor makes it a delightful treat often enjoyed with a chutney. Finally, we indulge in Goa's famous fanny, a drink that's as much a part of Goan culture as the beaches themselves. Made from either cashew apples or coconut sap, fanny has a robust, fruity aroma and a potent flavor. It's an experience in itself, encapsulating the essence of Goa's tropical vibe. West India street food is a colorful mix of taste and creativity. It's more than just delicious food. It's a vibrant showcase of the region's diverse cultures and cooking styles. As we shift our focus to the east, the aromatic streets of Kolkata, Patna, and Guwahati beckon us with their culinary treasures. Navigating towards East India, we delve into the delectable street foods of Kolkata, Patna, and Guwahati, each dish reflecting the region's rich cultural tapestry. Kolkata presents the Kathi Roll, a culinary marvel blending British and Bengali influences. Skewer roasted kebabs enveloped in a flaky paratha, seasoned with an array of spices and sauces, offer a symphony of flavors. More than just a meal, it's an emblem of Kolkata's diverse heritage. Patna's contribution, Liti Choka, is a hearty Bihari classic. Liti, ghee-soaked dough balls stuffed with spices, paired with choka, a smoky blend of roasted eggplant, tomatoes, and potatoes, epitomizes rustic simplicity yet profound satisfaction. In Guwahati, the Tibetan-influenced momos are a revelation. These delicate steamed dumplings, filled with either vegetables or meat, served with spicy chutney, strike a perfect balance between subtlety and zest. Puchka, East India's take on the popular Pani Puri, especially in Kolkata, is an adventure in itself. Crisp spheres bursting with a tangy and spicy mixture of tamarind water, potatoes, and chickpeas create an explosion of flavors, symbolizing the region's fondness for bold and diverse tastes. And finally, Rasgala, Bengal's sweet gift, is a divine end to our journey. These soft, syrup-soaked cheese balls, celebrated for their delicate sweetness and spongy texture, reflect Bengal's renowned passion for desserts. Each dish in East India tells its own story, full of local culture and history. The flavors and smells here are like a journey through the lively streets and quiet corners of the region. Embarking further into our gastronomic tour, we immerse ourselves in the culinary delights of South India, exploring Chennai, Bangalore, and Hyderabad. Each city unveils a palette of dishes deeply rooted in Tamil, Kannada, and Telugu traditions. Chennai's pride, the dosa, is a marvel of South Indian cuisine. The crisp, fermented crepe comes in many avatars, like the spiced potato filled masala dosa and the cheese dosa. The secret to a perfect dosa lies in its crispy edges and feather like center, offering a delightful crunch in every bite. In Bangalore, Idli, a staple breakfast item offers a contrast in texture. These soft, steamed cakes made from fermented rice and lentil batter, paired with aromatic sambar and coconut chutney, are a testament to simplicity and flavor. The softness of idlis, melting in the mouth, is a comforting delight. Vada, ubiquitous across South India, is a crispy, savory snack. Made from ura dal, it's crunchy on the outside with a soft, fluffy interior. The spices within the batter add a distinct flavor, making it a favorite among locals and visitors alike. Bangalore streets also boast of utapam, a thick, pancake-like dish with a variety of toppings. The contrast between its lightly crispy edges and its soft, spongy middle creates a satisfying textural experience. Hyderabad introduces us to the legendary biryani, a dish where Mughal and South Indian culinary styles converge. Layers of aromatic rice and spiced meat or vegetables meld together, creating a symphony of flavors. The fluffy grains of rice, mixed with tender pieces of meat, offer a rich, indulgent taste that is quintessentially Hyderabadi. From the crunchy dosas to the flavorful biryanis, South India's food is a feast of traditions and tastes. Each dish is a celebration, offering a unique blend of the region's heritage and delicious flavors that stay with you. That wraps up our flavorful journey across India, a land where every bite tells a story. 
from the spicy chats of North India to the crispy doses of the South, from the tangy puchkas of the East to the savory vada pavs of the West. We've experienced an incredible array of dishes that truly embody the diverse culinary landscape of this vibrant country. Thanks to all of you, our fellow savers, for joining us on this delicious adventure. And guess what? Our next episode promises to be even more exciting. Next on Savor the World, we're gearing up for a cross-continental road trip from the scenic landscapes of Canada to the bustling streets of India. It's going to be an epic journey filled with culinary discoveries and unforgettable experiences. Stay tuned for this adventure of a lifetime!